the heat uh, continues to build across mm -hmm. Kansas City and each corner of Kansas City is different. Yeah, did you know some of our neighbors actually feel the heat more because of what's called an urban heat island effect? Yeah, so meteorologist Cassie Wilson joins us from Kansas City, Kansas with some new data. Check it out. Kansas City's heat island effect stretches as far north as Platte City and as far south as Belton, and it encompasses more than three quarters of a million people. In a recent study by Climate Central, new data shows that our heat island here can add eight degrees on top of the temperatures that we're already feeling. And one of the hottest spots is right here in Kansas City, Kansas. Growing up, I never really paid much attention to it. As a kid, you go outside, you play, you come in, you get a drink of water, um, then you go want to go right back outside. But I know definitely now having children of my own, we are, did you have water? Are you hydrated? Have you done these things? And then they're not wanting to stay outside as long. So as we move through this heat wave, it's important to remember that your temperature could feel a bit hotter depending on where you live. There are multiple factors that you need to consider when we're talking about an urban heat island. The first albedo sounds like a funny word, but it's pretty simple. It's the color of a roof or the color of a surface. And based on that color, we actually reflect or absorb more heat. Lighter colors actually reflect that heat back into space. Darker colors absorb it and trap the heat in a city. Permeable surfaces, they make a difference because it governs how water drains and moves through a city. And tree cover, that seems like a no brainer, right? Green spaces, they help cool and even filter the air. Another thing to consider building heights. Cities that have taller buildings or buildings that are dense actually reduce heating because they create shade and turn the airflow around differently. Population density, that's a big one because us humans, we sure do create a lot of heat by just moving about, using air conditioning, and just getting in our cars to commute around town. Now, living in a city, there's at least power in numbers. We have um, 15 cooling centers available, and with our Parks and Recreation Department, we have three community centers um, that are available as cooling centers. They're open from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. for the public to come in. There's air conditioning in the facilities, restroom facilities. If there's not programming going on, there's gym space available. But it's not just those near the urban core that experience amplified heat. Much of suburban Johnson and Jackson counties actually have their own heat island. Now, the city in general has an expansive heat island, but if we take just a look at Johnson County, Kansas, you can see that temperatures are elevated from Lackmans through Lenexa, Overland Park, Shawnee, out through Prairie Village, and then into Jackson County on the Missouri side. There's this heat belt that stretches all the way to Independence. Temperatures here add eight degrees on top of what you're feeling. And when you're tucked inside of a heat wave, that can make a big difference. So how cities are built out, but also how the suburban areas are built out play a role in our heat. So what can be done to combat heat island concerns? According to the Mid-America Regional Council, communities can take action by planting trees, creating green roofs like Boulevard Brewery has, and integrating green design practices. Reporting for KSHB 41 Weather, I'm meteorologist Cassie Wilson. Yeah, interesting. It is really interesting and it, it kind of ex is exacerbated by this high heat that we're experiencing now. I mean, we're finding it even out there this morning. I wanted to show you kind of what those temperatures look inside the 435 loop right now. Look at this downtown into Overland Park. We're at 86. Compare that to just outside of the city. Let's say KCI 82. So a four degree temperature difference. The closer you get to kind of the, the higher population. It really makes you like realize yeah. that every little bit helps or, or hurts in some of those cases with the degrees. It makes yeah. you think about that. Some things way. to think about for yeah. sure. All right, Lynn, thank you.